before we start, we're going to call up uh, somebody who's going to join us on stage so he gets the uh, full experience today. Morgan, come on up, up, up stage here. Hey, Morgan. You can help me answer the questions. We're allowed to ask Morgan questions too? Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good. You got to sit tell everybody your name though. Uh, my name is Morgan. What's your last name? Uh, Kornicki. Yeah, so he's here today to uh, follow. Who are you job shadowing today? Um, Gene Principe. He's job shadowing one of the best in the business, and uh, we're giving him a little experience. So I'm happy to answer the question. Sure. If that's okay with you, Morgan, you stand. I asked Morgan one really quick about. Yeah, hey, Morgan. Morgan, what do you like best about Ryan Nugent Hopkins, bud? Um. I don't know. He's <laughs> a pretty good player, eh? Yeah. Awesome. Morgan, who's your favorite hockey player? Um, probably Zach Hyman. Oh. A good choice. Good, answer. good choice. Yeah. Okay, you stay up here. Okay. okay. Thanks, Morgan. Yeah. Uh, Jay, just a couple on Nuge, if I can. Yep. Um, he's pushing the goal totals higher this year, the point totals higher. He's doing it reasonably deep into his career. You've watched him play for a long time. What's... I don't know if I want to say different because he's been good for a long time, but what are you seeing this year that's allowing these point totals to be? Yeah, I think it's important to know where his goals are being scored from. Like, so if you just took a, um, a map of uh, the offensive zone and plotted where his goals are being scored from, I think you'd see a lot of them inside the dots. Um, I think he's going into hard areas to find offensive success. And, um, you know, I think sometimes it comes from doing work for other people, letting those people um, take their shot on the net, but him finding secondary and tertiary chances there. Uh, I think that's a credit to him and his mindset this year. The power play, I mean, take any one of your power play goals, and if you back it up 10 or 15 seconds, chances are there's a touch on the wall from Nugent Hopkins. Can you just maybe describe the value of how sure-handed he is on that first or second touch once he gained the zone? Yeah, I would agree with you. I, and I like that term, sure-handed. I think um, one of the areas of growth I've really seen in Ryan over the years has been uh, his entry into the zone, the decisions he makes with the puck, his confidence in that situation. You know, I think uh, when people think of our power play, they go to some, some big name people first. But like you said, he touches a lot of uh, our power play. Uh, he's a great facilitator. And, um, you know, like you said, uh, I like that term. I'm going to steal it sure-handed. Last one on him. Uh, for him to be doing it right now at this stage in his career, it's, it's not like it's a contract year where sometimes you see guys kind of pop. Just what's, what do you sense in his motivation and how at almost 30 here he's found this? Yeah, I, well, I'm quite proud that at this age he's having a career year. Um, I would say that... Uh, one of the biggest factors in his the step that he's taken is that he got to experience uh, what it's like in Edmonton during a long playoff run. And getting to the third round, I really believe, wet his appetite. And he's willing to put the work in and do whatever it takes um, to help move the needle here for our group. Jay, what happened on Saturday night in the second period happened. But how delicate of a touch is required or, or deaf? perhaps, of a touch is required to sort of get the educational point across while still ensuring that you're reinforcing the confidence of the players. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, we tried to capture... Um, capture that eight minute span uh, in the second period there for what it was, which is a, a learning opportunity for our group. Actually, we spent a good part of yesterday uh, just talking about uh, momentum, momentum in other teams' buildings. Uh, when things aren't going your way, what you can do to stop it. Um, certainly in that game, we felt we were the authors of a lot of the, the misfortune uh, in that second period. There's areas of our game where we can, you know, cleaning it up a little bit and certainly taking care of the puck uh, with some of our younger players is an area for us. Ice time is your currency uh, and it may have been partially score effect related but Evan Bouchard I think that's the most he played all season 
is that a byproduct of how he has played and performed with uh, Matias, where he's, he was basically deployed as a first pairing defenseman in that game? Yeah. Or was it also reflective of the position you guys were in in the game? Uh, probably a little bit of both, but I also it was a weird game because there were so many coincidental penalties uh, in that game. Uh, so in terms of the ice time distribution, it was a little bit different. But I would agree with your assertion that since uh, the trade for Ekholm, that pair has really uh, played very well, feel good in any situation with them on the ice. I think both Ekholm and Bouchard complement each other and play uh, or bring out each other's best strengths. And uh, certainly in that game, Bush earned every second ice time that he got. Hi. I just wanted to ask you about uh, Kaleem Costin. Is, it, is he nicked up or is it just a matter of he's just not in the rotation right now. Yeah, I just think, um, you know, anytime you have 13 quality forwards like that we have at our disposal right now, it's competitive to get in the lineup. I don't worry about Clem at all. You know, he's uh, I think he's doubled his production in the NHL in the games that he's played here with us this year. Um, you know, we we know he's going to be a big part of our, our uh, push down the stretch here and into the playoffs. And uh, I, when he's in the lineup, I expect a good game. Thanks. Jay, the, the Toronto game was kind of mirrored what you've seen down. The, you've had seven games where you've allowed four, and then the other seven you only allowed two. And you've had really sound defensive games for the full ones, Toronto, Boston, Winnipeg. And then you've had those five, six-minute stretches where everything's falling apart. So it doesn't look like it's structural at all. Yeah. Um, how much of that is just a mental focus? And as a coach, how, do you, how can you help guys improve on that attention to detail all the time, which they've shown in some games, and then it just kind of goes away in others? Yeah, I think, I think you're bang on in what your assessment was there. I think if you go back to Christmas time, and I don't have the exact stat in front of me, I had said it on the road. I think we're 18 wins when we give up three or less um, since Christmas time. And I think it's maybe three overtime losses or shootout losses and two just flat out losses when it's three goals or less. To me, that's quite obvious. That's the template for us. Um, I don't think, um, you know, we're going to ever be perfect. There are going to be moments in games where other team does good things as well. You got to give teams credit. And I think for us, the one thing we talked a lot about is how to stem the tide, uh, so to speak, when things aren't going your way so that you give yourself a chance to, you know, close a game out or, or come back and do a game. For us, I don't think, um, you know, it, or it's certainly not lost on our coaching staff is that, you know, we're human beings here too. Um, we've played a lot of games in a tight tight time frame. Sometimes uh, when you are deep into that type of schedule, you see some fatigue errors. Um, you know, in the end, we're all professionals. We want to capture the learning moments when they're there. There are moments we can be better. And for us down this last portion, um, if we're to get to where we want to get to, we're going to have to manage those moments better than we did in Toronto. And this one's more of a, of a season question. Um, your second period, you've scored the most goals in the league at 105 and you've given up 93 it's there's way more goals for and against in the second than your first and thirds by quite a ways yep. is the long change do you notice is it that much more of significance for um, you or something else at play yeah i mean we talk about it certainly uh, mark stewart i actually joked with our team the other day mark stewart walks in uh before every second period and we talk about how important that change is both defensively and offensively um you know i think that's just uh you know i don't know why that is the you know uh, it might be an aberration i don't know um but i think uh traditionally for us we want to start periods well it was a point of discussion in this room early in the season um but for me uh you know uh I can't tell, I can't pinpoint it just to that, you know, the long change. Hey, Jay, uh, when you look at the two losses on the road trip, uh, quote unquote, your team said some of those errors were self-inflicted. Mm -hmm. I know you're all about the day's business, but long term, how much do you communicate and approach that the dips are part of the process in a team become? Yeah, I think that's what we want to do, right, is is capture those moments when they're there, uh, learn from them, get better from them, but ultimately we don't want to repeat, repeat them. 
Uh, and that's the big thing is that you want to make sure that you're learning from those moments. Um, you know, for us, to me, it comes down to the defending side of things. It's not necessarily um, the offensive side of things. It's the defending side. I thought specifically in Toronto, it came down to, you know, um, taking care of the puck. I didn't think we did a good enough job. They did some good things, yes, but we could have done a better job. But in the end, that was two days ago. We're focused today on the Ottawa Senators. Morgan, do you have any uh, words of encouragement for the Empton Oilers tonight? Um, I don't really know. What do you think? Uh, I got one for you then. What do you think is going to be key for us tonight? Um, um, power play, shooting it from all angles on the point. I like it. Like it. Good. Like it. Well done, Morgan. If it doesn't work out for you with Gene, maybe you got time for a coaching staff. Right? Okay. Good job today, Morgan. Thank you. Yeah.